Okay. Boy, have I got a story now. Um, the fog started rolling in. I had a beautiful day going. And, uh, oh, this is starting to lift now compared to what it was. I never, I never saw the Mackinac Bridge until I got under it. It, I got pictures. I'm going to put them on my uh, We Live page. But let me tell you something. I haven't needed radar since the moment I left this trip. That's the actual bridge behind me. I could not see that bridge until it until it developed almost above me. It was my heart was beating so it's still beating fast from it because because it was so foggy. It was way worse than what it, what you're seeing right now. The sun will not burn it off. Seems like. And then, so you see this little dot to the right? That's a boat that's chasing me. I don't know why, but he's got to chase me. Um, he's not gaining on me, but he, he is closing in just a little bit. Um, so that same type of dot, actually, I was going to collide with it a little while ago, coming from my starboard across my bow. And it kept closing and closing and closing. I never saw the guy. I blew my horn twice, two loud, long blows. Never saw him. And right after he crossed my bow that I couldn't see him, I ran into his wake. And it was a big wake. And it was like, oh my goodness. And I stopped. I had actually stopped the boat to keep from hitting the guy. I don't know if he had radar or not. But if he did have radar, he absolutely was super confident in his ability to run in this stuff fast. And, um, and and the other thing is it's a big wide open space and I haven't seen a dead gum boat all morning long until this fog comes in. And then I got one that ran across my bow and one that's chasing me. The spookiest thing I've ever done. And the first time and only time on this trip that I not only needed the radar, but it could have prevented me from having a collision and I, I couldn't be more thankful this is a cool radar that's Wi-Fi it's a uh, wireless you can go to your iPhone or an iPad like I have it and uh, I think it saved my rear end I know it absolutely uh, stopped me from crossing this boat now could he have maneuvered and or we maneuvered and not hit each other I would like to think so, um, but it, I, I'm just telling you, when I went under that bridge, and the bridge has got stanchioned, I don't know. I didn't even know whether it's a stanchion bridge or if it's if it was, you know, had, had the cables that supports it so that there are, are no stanchions. Well, I went between two giant stanchions. Uh, I don't know how far apart they were, but I, I couldn't see them till I got to them. And, and then it was like, luckily, I was just splitting the, split in the middle of it. And, uh, and I could see the stanchions, you know, on either side of me. I, I'm telling you, it was spooky. Spooky, spooky. And still spooky. So I'm watching this radar. Looks clean in front of me. I hope, I hope it's accurate. <laughs> and uh, I, that boat is still right behind me. And he's stayed about the same distance so maybe he has radar or maybe he knows how fast i'm running and he's just gonna like chill out behind me i guess but he's not on nebo so i don't think he's a looper it's hard to figure out what he is as long as he don't speed up and run me over um anyway uh, so that's enough of this i'll get it uploaded as soon as i can and oh thank you radar i love it all right see y'all later we go